On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So every morning you wake up and enjoy that breath of life, something that... Uh, most definitely, we have to give thanks for that. Now, we are going to make a small chads over there in the parish capital of Clarendon, what them call Maypen. You don't know them say Maypen and a Playpen. There is also other areas in and around the Maypen space that has always been under the police radar. We are talking about places like Palmer's Cross. We are talking about places like Maypen proper in the town centre itself. We are talking about places like Effortville. We are talking about places like Sevens. We are talking about places like Sevens Heights. We are talking about Jack Monday and of course Western Park. And Maypen, like most other crime riddled, violent torn areas, has its fair share of political interference. Where we see that the Tivoli Gardens presidential clique has a very strong connection in the Maypen space, call themselves Clarendon Click. And also, the Klansman Gang, which is a PNP stronghold, has its hands, its claws also all over the Maypen space. So Maypen Maypen most definitely has its fair share of political interference. Now in recent times we have seen where the violence and the crime in the Maypen space has kinda withered down somewhat, not to a tolerable level, but has spiraled downwards in comparison to that of its counterpart of Montego Bay. Because we all know so once upon a time it was between Clarendon and Mobile for record the most loss of life in the country. So Maypen has taken a step back, so to speak. So we're definitely glad for that. But nonetheless, Maypen do have some old dirty corner boy that needs to be exposed. Now, one such old dirty corner boy that we are talking about is yours truly on your screen. The one in the black pants with the strap in his waist known as Kirkland Robinson. The other one that you can see up front right now is called Shano. Now, Kirkland Robinson, here is a clearer picture of who I'm speaking about. And also a zoomed in pic of the strap where I'm having I'm waist. Kirkland Robinson is from a place called Love Lane. Love Lane is in the vicinity of the Maypen High School Brands Crescent right in that area. Shano is from an area called Juno Crescent. And Shano is definitely no saint likewise. Shano has a lot of knockings and clappings and a theme belt. I don't know if people in that era would remember a story where a teacher end up losing three pints courtesy of some old dirty corner boy. And the teacher's body was found in an advanced state of decomposition. Well, it is said that them mania do the dirt there. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So that occurred over the Juno Crescent area. Kirkland Robinson, as you know, is not from the Juno Crescent area. So basically, him is an importee in the place, so the man them have him as a hired hit, so to speak. So when time them commit them acts of crime and violence in the Juno Crescent era, them go camp out and hide out at a place where them call Reagan City. Reagan City are one of them places that were full of old pa bush bush and all these things, so it is a perfect little hiding spot from the long arms of the law. Now, Kirkland Robinson, affectionately called Bossed, why you think them would have called him Bossed in the streets? Anybody with any common Jamaican sense would have understand that Bossed is affiliated with some sort of act that he has committed, hence the name Bossed. Well, Kirkland literally bust off a man head by the name of Rick some time ago in the Juno Crescent area. Them say no man is an island, no man stands alone, and Kirkland Robinson is definitely no different. 
Well, him have a clique of all dirty kind of boy we empower with. And we are going to give a list of names. Then, of course, we are going to show some pictures in a timely fashion. Now, we have on that list a brother with them call Talman. A next youth with them call Tremaine, who is the so-called Dan for the area. Talman and Tremaine is definitely family members and sisters, kids. Now, you have another brother with them call Bagarat, otherwise known as Butty. And next one of them call Shano. We already show you Shano picture in the first pic that I presented. Another brother with them call Gregory, otherwise known as Fishy. And a next youth with them call Savvy, a one time prominent football player from Glenmuir High School. But him decide to take badness feet. Good youth. Back in the days, you to use a kickball real good, had a decent future in a football, but boy, for some reason, at the start, he decides to say, he might go to the dirty corner boy way and live the dirty corner boy lifestyle. Now, another brother with them par with is known as Clarky, otherwise known as Prezi, come from up a coolie lane, so all of them man they par together. Kirkland Robinson, as me say, is them hired hit and he would basically do anything if he basically make a name for himself in the Juno Crescent area. As me say earlier, him boss off a man head with them call Rick and also two other persons, another youth with them call Rick. So basically him have two Rick and them belt and another youth with them call Head. Now what the youth that with them call Head, you know? Is another old dirty kind of boy. So it's basically a little cancellation going out right there. So, but definitely under him belt nonetheless. No head, as we say, was a dirty kind of boy. We used to run off a place with him called Line. No Line is a neighboring street that run in close proximity to which part them come from. So, them definitely want to get out Ed as a head at the place. So, right now, Ed never really know the youth of them call Kirkland like that. And because Kirkland have the little youthful persona there, him dress up in a car key and step to head and bust off head, head, whilst head guard did drop. If you don't get to me, I just say, right there. So, yeah, man, may I tell you, a dangerous youth in the streets. So, anytime him go on with all of them acts of atrocity there, more time him will just go wings off over a place with them called Farm. You don't know Farm, otherwise known as Sevens Road, is a place where well hot to. When you remember them six youth there, where the soldier them did bust off them head upon a pre dawn operation and find a whole heap of strap, scatter all six of them all over their yard. Yeah, man, may I tell you, him and them youth there, licked well, tick, tick to a dangerous little hot step of this in the street. But the thing about Kirkland is that a lot of people don't know him, so he is highly underestimated in the place. In fact, one of the youth them we end up losing them three pints from the soldier from the military operation up there. He is related to that person also. So me I tell you say that little youth here, dangerous, have whole heap of connections too. So anytime him go on with him acts of atrocities in the Mapen Clarendon era de so and get well hot as a matter of fact when it get too hot for him stay in any one of him hiding spots, him resort to Pink Lane in the Denham Town area. He's closely affiliated to the Tivoli YG that is the young generation of the Tivoli Gardens strongmen. So on a city connection right there so now between the presidential clique and the Clarendon clique even though this little old fart here is a little small fry in comparison. Him not really have no name but him a do the dirt right now for Ghana such. So we can't allow this brother here to rise to a certain level. We definitely need to clip him wing before him get too big and too strong in the thing because I saw it always going you know, on them start off small do them one and two little knockings and clappings with some people where no I got raise no great alarm in a society because it's not nobody where have no name so to speak them name but a somebody family nonetheless and those persons would have really want some sort of closure in the last life of their family same way but them boy have a whole lot of connections so when time them go on with them thing a country them left all the way gone in at the Kingston Western Police Division now so them just 15 and blending as a regular youth in the place and police just pass them every day and not even know say is a boy who just hot up down a Clarendon one way. So on your screen is a picture of three of the old dirty kind of boy them that I made mention about earlier. 
Now, from the left, in the white t-shirt and the black pants, is the one time a footballer with them call Savvy. Good youth back in the days. Him still not too far gone neither. We still can save him if he wish to be saved. Now, Savvy used to play the Costa Cup for Glemure and him take up badness feet and decide say other way there he want to live. Sad to say, Savvy, if you continue along at this road, you're going to end up six feet under or 35 to life. Yeah, man, may I tell you. And the next one right beside Savvy is, of course, yours truly, Kirkland Robinson. We all know the story of Kirkland Robinson. So make we move on. The next man with the right side of him is Talman. Talman is also the cousin of the Dan, what them call Tremaine. We are going to talk briefly about Tremaine after. Now, Talman and Tremaine, as I said earlier, they are cousins. They are two sisters, children. And it is really sad if it's a two sister of them Pitney. And the two boy Pitney with them have gone in a dirty kind of boy lifestyle. So Tremaine, as the Dan, have a few connects and contacts all over. Who know a place where them call Crawl, down at them be there, so. For those who are old enough watching this on the Spot News Media channel right now, would remember some time ago, the great Renita Adams had a controversial knockings and clappings down a Crawl. Even until today, a lot of persons are bitter about that knockings and clappings. But anyway, make we move on. Tremaine have a place down at them be Crawl right there, so. Where him have a ends where him can wings off when time them commit them acts a little spot where them can go easy back and chill out after them commit them acts of crime and violence. Him also have a ends down a rocky point same way. So you know, see where all of these dots connecting. Some of the time a man commit a thing right there so and him just left. Him gone a rocky. Him gone a crawl. Him can go as far as pink lane in a the Tivoli Gardens West Kingston area. So Tremaine say him at the Dan for the Juno Crescent area and anything where him say, I saw it definitely off go. So Kirkland Robinson is the little scapegoat, is the little press button, is the little fallabaka where them are used for commit all of the acts them because he's so desperate and he wants to make a name for himself as a strong man, as a old knackies and clappies, as a head cook and buckle washer, as the head old dirty corner boy in the Juno Crescent area. So he is definitely one for the ones and ones them, the regular members of John Public and also the security forces to look out for. And all the names that I've called, all the pictures that I've shown are persons that is involved in the Juno Crescent gang. So people living in and around that area, Sevens, Effortville, you don't know the whole place, farm, the whole place, whatever you want to call it, same place we are talking about. Be wary and be on the lookout for them old dirty corner boy. Juno Crescent, Lovely and same way, Mapen, the whole place, look out for them boy because them boy are come for seek, kill and destroy. So members of the security forces who don't have the information now, so now it's time to act. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.